Welcome back. Valentine's Day is only days away, and if you're looking for a great way to spread the love, you can always cook up something tasty, of course. So joining me this morning with some delicious recipes you can throw together for the occasion is High V registered dietitian Brooke Rush. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Here. How are you? Good. We're matching with the I pink. know, right? I love it. I love the tie. It. Thank Looks you. Looks good on you. So what are we doing today? Well, I have date night covered for us. We've been talking about four recipes, but I don't want anyone to be scared. They're so easy. We can get them all done in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah, all right. right? Full course meal and dessert. Oh. Right, so you're over here and you're going to be making one of my side dishes and the main course. Okay. Really easy bacon wrapped asparagus is the first one. So I've already cooked the asparagus. You put, cook it at 450 for about 15 minutes. Then you're just going to take some uncooked bacon. Go ahead and start wrapping that for me. I take about five to six stalks. Okay. okay, I think I've got six here. There you go, that's perfect. And you just wrap that and you're gonna put it on your sheet with that salmon, but we'll get to that next. All right. While you're doing that, I'm making a yummy beet risotto. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Oh no. Okay, beets are my secret ingredient. They have this chemical called betalane in them okay. that's very similar to anthocyanin, it has good antioxidant properties. And so I've been sauteing some of these chopped up beets with garlic, onions, and oil. Okay. And so once they're sauteed, I'm gonna add my arborio rice because this is going to be our risotto recipe. That's Ooh. kind of what makes up risotto is this arborio rice. Uh -huh. We're going to just cover it and toss it. And once that's covered, then we just slowly add some heated broth here. So I've got some reduced sodium chicken broth. We just do about a half cup at a time. And this is kind of the easy part. You just pour a little broth in and then you let it kind of soak and absorb as okay. it's cooking over medium heat. So the cool thing is I can kind of leave this and let it soak. Yeah. And while that's kind of cooking, I'm going to come over here and make our dessert as oh, well. Oh, the best part. You look like you're doing great. Uh, I'm trying. You're doing, you're doing really good. Okay, so do one more of those and then okay. I'll come back to you because the salmon is actually the last thing we have to do because we throw everything in the oven at the end. I got three. So my dessert here is some chia pudding, okay? I have mm. some coconut milk. I'm going to put in my chia seeds and a little bit of stevia to sweeten it. We're going to whisk it and it's going to actually make it nice and fluffy like a pudding oh. and we're going to make a parfait. So I'll mix this. I let this sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes and then it comes out and makes this really awesome Ooh. pudding consistency. Yeah. And all we're going to do is we just layer it. I do some chia pudding. Whoop, spilled a little. The good <laughs> thing okay. is it looks really cool like once you kind of make all the layers. I've got some pureed strawberries, just some fresh strawberries. Now we're talking. Yep, we layer that all and top it off with some chocolate shavings. Ooh. Put that in the fridge. Last thing, your salmon. Okay, all right, here we we're go. just gonna here we go, folks. Throw our teriyaki glaze on there, Matt. All right. Let me come over here. Yeah. And this is just gonna add a little bit of sugar, but we're only adding about a half cup to the whole thing. And so we're not really adding a lot of sugar to this. You're gonna take your little yeah. baster there and baster. spread it out all over. And then you basically just throw both your salmon and your asparagus in the oven for 15 more minutes and then everything is cooked. So while that 15 minutes is going, you just keep cooking your risotto, your desserts in the refrigerator setting, getting ready to go. Ooh. By the time your risotto is done, your salmon will be done, your asparagus will be done. Put everything onto your plate. You've got a really heart healthy meal that also yeah. tastes absolutely delicious. Yeah, you mentioned a lot of these health benefits. Uh, what are a couple, maybe the salmon and the asparagus add in? Oh, great question. So like I said, heart healthy because the omega-3 fatty acids that we not only get from the salmon, we get from a lot of these oils we're cooking with. Asparagus actually has potassium in it as well, and studies are showing people who have high potassium diets tend to have lower blood pressure. So also going to be great for our heart. So great for Valentine's Day, heart themed, heart healthy, but also our stomach is going to love it as well. That's right. It is a heart health awareness month as it well. Is. So yes, perfect. it is heart health month. I actually get to do free cholesterol screenings for people at my store in February. So reach out to me if you want to come get that free cholesterol screening and I can talk to you about your numbers and how they are. All right, so you, would you recommend starting with the asparagus and then kind of doing the, yep. the direction we went? Exactly, so I would cook our asparagus first, then take them out, you let them cool, wrap in the bacon. Then you come over here and you kind of start your risotto, okay? Once this is cooking, I again, I move to my dessert, then I throw these into the oven, throw these into the fridge, finish my risotto, and everything is finished in 15 minutes. Wow, and you always like to use the colors. I feel like we got a I pretty do. colorful meal here. Right, yes. When I like to use colors, it is because the colors show the nutrients that are in our food. So I said the betalin is that bright reddish pink color, really good for anti-inflammation and for that great cardiovascular health as well. 
All right. Well, we love to hear it, and it smells and looks great. I'm hoping to maybe try a little bit of that. Yeah, it doesn't look fancy like a home-cooked meal that you got from a restaurant, yeah. right? You're going to impress your sweetie. I just wish my wife liked seafood. That's oh, the only really? thing. You know, the good thing is this would go great on some chicken. You could do the same thing. You just have to cook it longer than you cook fish. Cook it for 30 minutes instead of 15. Okay, I'll keep yeah. it in mind. Well, Brooke, thanks so much for coming on. It's been a great time. Thank you for having me.